My mic is good now. You gonna start from the beginning? Definitely. Let's take two. I mean, hey, you gotta come over a little bit. Ah! Run. Did you grind it out today? Did you? And today's gonna be a it's gonna be a doozy of a topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Hey, what's up, it's Rashad. And I'm Keisha. Hang with the Jones is episode number 60. Ish. <laughs> yeah. We'll, 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 we'll go for that. Yeah, something in the 60s. Yeah. Well, either way, we appreciate everybody coming through for listening on the audio side. Thanks. Rate us. Five stars. Nothing less. If you look, watch it on YouTube, definitely. Yes, only five stars. <laughs> definitely. If, if you watch on YouTube, Thank you. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment. We do enjoy talking with you guys in the comments. And share it to people who don't listen because sharing is caring. And speaking of sharing being caring, this is the the season of, of sharing and caring. Holidays are officially upon us. And holidays are here. <laughs> we are embarking upon Thanksgiving and, of course, Hanukkah and Christmas and Boxing Day if you're Canadian and Australia and Kwanzaa if you're nasty. So Hanukkah. I, I said Hanukkah. Oh, I just heard it be nasty. No, I said Kwanzaa. Mm. Anyway. It's on download. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all this hot is coming up and I want to talk about how to best manage yourself through the holidays because there are a couple of things that can derail you and mm-hmm. really get you in a place where you're not wanting to even spread any holiday cheer. You know, you want to be the, mm-hmm. the bah humbug and nobody likes that. So what should we be doing about this? Oh, okay, let me ask you for first questions. What should we be looking out for and how should we kind of go about dealing with those things? Okay, so what should you look out for um, this season? Monitoring yourself, um, your emotions, healthy boundaries. You know, if you don't want to get something, if you don't want to go somewhere, don't. Don't feel forced to do a Black Friday thing, which Black Friday is no more because (laughs) Black Friday started in November. (laughs) It's Black Month, right? It's It's Black Black Month. month. (laughs) (laughs) Black History Month. Okay. (laughs) But... Um, don't, and you know, I understand for me when my children were younger and when we used to really practice, um, Christmas and celebrate the holiday, we don't recognize, um, Christmas as the birth of our God and Savior. It wasn't, but not to go there, <laughs> but we, when we used to, I used to be really stressed out of buying gifts. And then it's not just me cause I used to work at, and a lot of calls used to come in on financial stress because I got to get this for my child. I get this. I got to get this. And it was so much that it was making people depressed because trying to meet these expectations and may not have the means to it, to do it. And then when January, February come in, waiting for your income tax to kind of recoup (laughs) what you did in October, November, December. It's a crazy circle. Really? Yeah. But the healthy balance, you don't have to buy anything. That your presence should be good enough. You know, and for people who really ride with you, they know that if they know you can't afford it, it should be no pressure on you buying stuff. And with your children, and that's what I learned with my children, because I'm stressing over getting the newest toy or newest gadget. And when they was younger, then they uh, they played with the box. It's like I'll be doing. You know or how many it hours? Plays, like for the first day and then never touch it again. Right. Or it'd be something like that was two dollars that really caught their attention as opposed to the big ticket item. I'm like, if you paid for this. It, it, it was the, the pot <laughs> that you like, even though you begged for this. And then you sit there and you kinda almost if you don't be careful, it can kind of make you spiteful because it's like I you know how many hours I worked to get that and you don't appreciate it? Yeah, and it's not even about like the appreciation of it. It's just the fact that they don't know enough to really care. But even for <laughs> adults, sometimes you can give a gift to an adult and feel like it's not appreciated. True, but adults should should know and care though. But we know they don't sometimes. Right, and no one else. But also, you got to do the point. Unless that person asks for a gift, that was your you decide to go buy that gift. 
Unless that person, even if that person said, I want this for Christmas, you could say, nah, I ain't got the money. Can't do that this year. How about I make you a card? How about I come over and help you clean? You know, you can do something. So even for an, an adult, you have the same thing with your children. And I have known so many people who like, I didn't get anything for Christmas and I was okay. Like I, I, didn't, I was okay. Especially if it meant that my parents was going to go broke just to get me the new Whatever. gadget then the gadget break down the next day, or I don't even play for the next day, but your mother's behind or your parents behind <laughs> and they bills to trying to pay for their gadget. I rather really say your mother's behind. Yeah, I, I, I put parents. I can't be, <laughs> I can't say your mother. I gotta say parents. Like, you know, Caretaker. Not like like her actual. Shut behind. up. <laughs> Shut up. I was trying to ignore that. I was trying to get you the benefit of doubt. But as we learn, if there's any doubt, there's no benefit. <laughs> I shouldn't have. Try to go over that. But even your garden, so I would say this because allow healthy boundaries. Don't let anyone play on your emotions. Yeah, and this must be like really getting good to you because you out here rubbing your knees like like grandma like like, mm-hmm. like, like it's really. I'm about to start speaking, humming. Please don't, please don't hum. Mm-hmm. Speaking to your spirit. But yeah, like I know like, us, we reared very differently, and I think, as a matter of fact, I know a lot of times when the way people are reared. We try to like recreate that to a certain to a certain degree. Yeah. And sometimes when you try to recreate it, like it doesn't really work out because it's different. Your life is different. You're in a different environment. And sometimes those things mm-hmm. were tailored for what you were dealing with as a, a six or seven year old. And it just doesn't apply anymore. Also at that time, things were like you can buy sneakers for nine nine nine, like name brand. You're not buying that now. <laughs> you first time I went and looked for some sneakers, I was like, wait, these little kids sneakers are the same prices as mine. So that's no different. But yes, to Rashad, growing up, I was the only grandchild, the only niece, the only child. So being the only child, I got spoiled. Like literally, I had a bedroom that was only dead for my toys. So I did want to kind of recreate that for my children because I didn't know no other way because look, if I open a magazine, I want this and this, this, everything in the magazine, I got everything in the magazine. Yeah, and, and nothing, and shoot. <laughs> Dang, that felt was, good to you. Nah, nah, you? Nah, I was just thinking about like how it used to be. Like that clash of such extreme differences because we was like, yo, we got what we got and that was it. And we were definitely happy that we just, we was able to get anything. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And some, I remember like one Christmas, I don't even remember having a Christmas at all. Like, mm-hmm. and some years we definitely like, they came through and we, and knowing how stuff is now, like I know how much of a, of a struggle that, that, that actually was. So mm-hmm. like, so coming up with such like with Des and even like, That's with, our oldest. With, like with like, and Madison and I are, you know, middle child. child. It was difficult trying to find some sort of middle ground between feast and famine, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's not even a fact of like we couldn't do it because we could have done it, but we didn't have to do it. And just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should do something. And, and that wasn't my vocabulary. There was no like, why not? <laughs> why not do it? And and. Hindsight is twenty twenty. As they got older, because especially when it was just our first child, once again, she was the only, the only um, daughter, the only niece, the only great-grandchild, the only grandchild. So she was spoiled. So she used to really walk through the store. I want that. Okay, you got it. Why not? But then when other children came along, you want that. Okay, but she, your sister need this. And the other children came along. No, we, we can't do that. Anymore. It's not fair. I'm not doing it. So at that time, it was like, why not? But when she got older, she had a hard time of you can't get everything just because. It, I can't even say she wanted it. Sometimes it was just, just because she can. Yeah. And then it had to be a, just a shift in your mentality, too. Mm-hmm. Which. I used to be the sad. Which, yeah. that Honestly. Yeah. Just very not like, oh, we don't need, they don't need anything. 
and having to to deal with just the fact that it's just so routine and and cyclical. Like, all right, this is the time of the year. This is what we do. We spend the money. We doing something. Going out. You Black know what I'm Friday. We're we gonna like, be waiting the lines. Like that's the whole. <laughs> like it. Like it became event based. Mm-hmm. And that's how they get you because they wrap you around <coughs> the event, like atmosphere of it all. Like even like like recent, like with um, I know this is nothing to do with anything, but like Travis Scott concert when the people died, like that was one of the first huge events, like in Houston. And plus, it's a popular rapper. They have merch drops, so and the people was just like crazy because like Travis Scott's audience is like, yo, it's hype, and the whole thing's gonna be hype. So when stuff is catered and centered around events, it's so much easier to to kind of buy into the hype of what's going on. Mm-hmm. And that's like the holidays in general. Yeah. Yeah, and you have to be careful about your emotions, about buying in. It also, if you don't want to go somewhere, don't go. Don't feel obligated to go because it's the holidays. It, you don't want to go, don't because. Honestly, those holidays, it's traffic. It's the worst. <laughs> the police are out there every corner. <laughs> it's like that. And then if you in um like New York, you can't get a taxi. The trains and the buses are run, running on a holiday schedule. If you don't want to, don't do it. Don't. Yeah. But also the vice thing, don't not go either. If you want to go and be around your family, but the only thing is holding you, you don't have a gift, don't do that. Go around and be around your family. Go enjoy yourself. Yeah. Well, we've been broke for for the years and years, and I gave anybody <laughs> no gift. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I mean, I, even in a place to actually give a gift or two, I still don't want to get a no gift because I don't care about this as much. Like, it's not the point of, it's not the point of this, especially if I come through. If I, if I physically come through. That's the gift, right? I am your present. I've spent gas, time, preparation. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should be enough. That's how I feel. No, I don't feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but even going now, like, we do ask our children right at the end of the year gift list. Like, what do you want? And the stuff they have up there, it's like, what does she? I want lipstick. I want chapstick. Um, our middle child was like, just straight give me money. Like, I don't want you to give me anything. And then at first, that kind of when the first time we started doing that, and they used to put, that used to bother me. Because it was like, How do, what do you mean you don't want anything? What am I supposed to wrap up and give to you? Like, that really bothered me. And then I had to be like, wait, if this is what they want, and it's no big deal for them, why am I stressing over this? You finally saw the light. It took you years. It did. It's, this is maybe. Maybe this year. May, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe this yeah. year. And kind of sort of, but not really. Because this is a particular item that you want Madison to get. And she's going to have it. Yes. She doesn't even want it. She's going to have it. You know it. what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. there's still a little bit, you know what I'm saying, that. um, She's going to have uh, it. That stubbornness still deep, yeah. deep inside your spirit. That, that you are not to not going to have boots. No. Yeah. I don't 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 go down down the line. No, nah, we're not going to go down there today. I don't, I don't, I don't want to upset you. Mm-hmm. We 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 mid podcast now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's it's a very interesting um, prospect when it comes to dealing with your um, family, loved ones, and also being able to set boundaries with them too. Because you say like the don't like the whole thing where you saying like yeah like don't um don't not go if you still want to go, mm-hmm. and also being able to say no is yeah a boundary in and of itself <clears throat> because if I'm like no but then there's that familial pressure for you to come through anyway I'm like yo like I don't want to do this thing you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying and I know for like us that's how it was early on because. We're creating our own family. And then our separate families are saying, hey, what are you guys doing for the holidays? And it's like, um, now we're feeling torn because do we go to my people? Do we go to your people? Or do we just do nothing and do something for ourselves? Oh, and that was a hard one. Staying at home and creating my own tradition was truly hard for me. <laughs> I used to cry 
like until when? Like the last four or five years, I stopped crying. Yeah, <clears throat> but I used to cry. But also, don't feel guilty for starting your own tra- um your own traditions. Whether your tradition is we're gonna have seafood night. <laughs> We're going to watch TV. We're going to be in pajamas. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Whatever yeah. it is, don't think, but I used to cry like, no, this is not how it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to be. To. And now it's like, yeah, I'm okay. But I think also, be honest with you, I think kind of that shift, it shifted for me when my grandparents passed away. It, it wasn't this, it's not the same. Yeah. And I guess because my grandparents died so long ago, mm-hmm. it's, it's never been the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, okay. Because aside, aside from the house being event-based, they're also centered around particular people. Yeah. And the people that they're centered around are usually going to be like like the patriarchs and the matriarchs of your families. The people who, you know, the, the, the older people, because they are the ones who are, for the most times, like footing foot the bill for a lot of this stuff because they got, they got the income for it for, for most situations. And in my situation, my, my grandparents, si- yeah, we've been grandma definitely house. Was, was everybody was, came over grandma house, yeah, was 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 but grandparents' the bill. house, everyone came over. You know what I'm saying? So when those people, you know, pass on, then the other remaining people are left to kind of pick up the pieces from, from what from you know from whatever your norm was and that's that's difficult you know yeah, because that, transition. Was, that transition can be very difficult hence um you saying um also the holidays can be times where like your people pass away or mm-hmm. the first time you had to have that holiday without that person or people mm-hmm. so those things then can become very um very challenging and which can lead to easily to some sort of like seasonal depression mm-hmm. because the people that you love the most, they're not there no more. And what we did, thankfully, my mother was the next matriarch in line, being that my grandmother passed, she's the oldest daughter, and my uncle's the oldest son. So my mother kind of took over the cooking and everything. People came over, and what we did was tell jokes. Um, we reminisce about when they did such and such. You know, we reminisce and we play games, and so we try to turn that that day of sadness because of my grandparents wasn't there anymore. We try to make it into more a memorable, happy experience. So yeah. we won't always mark the end of the year with this is the day that you, you know we we try to we try to change the the concept of this day so it won't be always a sad thing. Yeah, definitely try to change the context and and kind of um re um, contextualize it to yeah. be more celebratory and not. Such a memorial, a, yeah, because you know, because I mean, it's a very, very black thing to do. We're gonna take our our pain and suffering, and then transform it into some sort of um celebration. Mm-hmm. That's why you know, when we go to funerals, we go to home going services. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just mm-hmm. that's just a cultural thing, and mm-hmm. it it definitely can can lead to making better memories or, or different memories or new memories mm-hmm. because you have to new then, traditions. Yeah. You got to incorporate. Okay. So let's say for us, like even when we, when we don't go anywhere, we still incorporate what we like to do. You know what I'm saying? And then we make it very like, all right, like you already know y'all kids clean them greens. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We start cooking around. As soon as we got work, we start cooking you mm-hmm. know, and then the day of, so like for Thanksgiving, day of, you know, we, you know, we chilling. I'm watching the Mace Day Parade every year. Every like year. Like clockwork. You know what I'm saying? So those are the things that I'll, you know, that we do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And my girls are watching with me if they're awake. But, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. So you have to be but able to create even that create that tradition because even if they will wake up for the parade. Yeah. They they will wake up to see it. Um, And then we just kind of chill. Yeah. Yeah. And just just kind of chill. And I'm oh, finally to the point where I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with it. It's not not feeling sad. Like, I'm okay. And that's, and, and, and that's a really good place to be. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Definitely got to watch out for yourself and also watch out for your people around the holidays, whether it be like your actual family or your friends. Because people really need each other especially when it comes to these event-based things 
because sometimes you don't know how to react to it or they could be going through it and not fully understanding why they're feeling this way. Yeah. Healthy boundaries all around, physical. They listen to your children. Your children tell you they don't like something, they don't want to do it. Listen to them. Don't you know, don't shush them down because they're their kid. Listen to them. Um, if you yourself, if you don't want that unwanted hug or whatever, don't do it. Healthy boundaries. No, no, I don't like this. Can we please stop? Oh, no, I'm, I'm quick because I'm not a hugger. Like, hey, put that hand out there real quick. <laughs> oh, shake your hand. I, I'm, I don't like all that stuff. Um, or emotionally. Don't let anyone take over your emotions. You you you're in charge of you and your feelings. If anyone feel like you feel like you no, know, they taking charge and make you feel a certain way, leave. And don't feel like the way to show your value is by buying your stuff. Because at the end of the year, some of that stuff people don't like. Next day, people return it. <laughs> you know, or and you took all that time buying this stuff, maybe going to debt for it. And the you're like Rashad said, even though he's kind of being cynical, the true presence may be your presence. Bring in a bottle of wine, bring in some apple cider, bring in a you, you know, just don't go in debt for it. Nah, I ain't same about token, that. don't request all this stuff if you can't come, <laughs> you can't contribute either. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. If, if 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 you're gonna put in, make sure you put in. You know right. Don't be the one taking all these bags to <laughs> um to go play. Yo, home. yeah. You don't yeah. Don't come through and you wrapping up a whole turkey leg and stuff. Right. Like that. Yeah. So don't don't be that person either. Just y'all. eat your one or two yeah, plates. Yeah, yeah, and that's don't do it. <laughs> go on, don't come in here with your own Tupperware. You know right. What I'm saying? Don't come in with friends or friends. No. Nah, don't nah, do nah, that. No. 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 We don't. We don't like that either. But yeah. <laughs> If you if you definitely gonna come through, make sure you come through prepared. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, you gonna put, especially if you, if you you gonna eat five plates. Yeah, nah, <laughs> you should have bought something <laughs> like the meat. Anyway, I think that's a good episode. We're done. Um, if you say this song, you true MVP. You say this song. No, no songs. No, that's what you say. You say if you say this song. I said if you say this long. He said song. Nah, I definitely. I know. I know. I shoot Find it back. I know. I shoot it back. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you for, for stopping by and listening. You're the real Definitely MVPs. make sure you check us out on Patreon for Patreon.com for us. I hang with the Joneses. You want to look out for us. And <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Instagram, Facebook, hang with the Joneses. Both, both places. IG, hang with underscore the Joneses. We're done. See you guys next week. This is.